Today we're going to be learning how to use a triple beam balance. This is a really fun tool and with this tool you're going to uh, be measuring a, an object's mass. Many people think it's, a, it's the weight, but it's not because weight is based on gravity and how much gravity is pulling you down towards the earth or to the center of the earth. Mass is how much is actually in an object and we're going to do that by balancing it with using these sliders right here. The first thing we need to do before we even begin to measure or even put an object on the plate over here is to zero out your sliders. The way you do that is make sure that all of your sliders are firmly put into the zero place. All the way to zero, okay. Then we move down to here and we wanna make sure that this line right here is in line with that one. It's not, so I need to come all the way over here to the adjustment knob. And we're gonna twist the adjustment knob back and forth until we figure out, until it lands on that zero. All right, so as you can see, I've got this triple beam balance zeroed out. So now we're gonna place our object that we're going to measure its mass up on this plate. And once again, we've got our good friend, Mr. Bacon. Hello, Mr. Bacon. Let's have you uh, go ahead and just move yourself right on up there. There you go. There he is sitting on the plate. Now, to measure the mass, we need to start with the largest slider. We move it over one time and it's gonna click into place. Now listen. See? But as you can see, he doesn't weigh or he doesn't have a mass of 100 grams. So we go back to zero. Now let's try the tens. I like to start somewhere in the middle and see, since I know it's not 100, looks like it's not 50. So now we go back, 10 by 10. Okay, well it's somewhere between 40 and 50. So I'm gonna leave it on 40, and then I'm gonna use the little slider. And this little one I just like to flick until I get that to zero out over here. So I'll just flick and you'll see. It's starting to go up again. Ooh, there we go. It's on zero again, so now let's look at it. It appears that it's 40, two, and then one little line, which means point 0.1, just like we did with our ruler. So it'd be 42.1 grams. There you go, Mr. Bacon. Thank you very much.